So I don't know if anyone else has experienced dealing with the general public, but one thing I've learned is that don't. And that's just the first of many sarcastic rants you're going to hear if you keep watching this video. Anyway, I used to have a job at this place, and I won't say the exact name so they don't sue me, but let's just say it sounded a lot like the public lorebrary, and you would not believe the questions people asked me there. I remember one time I was doing my job, and this guy comes up to me wearing one of those stupid shirts that are like black or red or something, and he just straight up said, Can I check out this book? Um, let's see. Can you check out a book? What do you think people can do at a lorebrary? Have a boxing fight or a wrestling fight? No, you check out books. So, just to be funny, I was like, no, you can't check out books. And if you check out a book, you get fined a million dollars. Then, this cretin kind of looked at me all slack-jawed and said, Are you trying to be funny? Er, no, I was trying to be serious. Yes, I'm trying to be funny, you absolute cretin. And the only reason you didn't laugh at my funny remark is that you were an absolute cretin. Anyway, that same day around 5.30 p.m., I looked at the clock and realized that the library was closing in a half hour and nothing else fudged up or annoying had happened yet that day that I could make into an animated storyteller video. There had pretty much been only one other mildly irritating thing all day, and that was when my boss asked me how my day was going, and I was like, oh, it's going so great. I love sitting all day in a library while absolute cretins come in and ask me idiotic questions. And do you know what my boss said? Yeah. Are you trying to be funny? And yeah, that pretty much sums up what it's like when you work with cretins. Nobody can tell when you're funny, jokes are funny. But that interaction with my boss, while hilarious, didn't seem fudged up enough to put in my animated storyteller video. So I kind of was just like, okay, forget it. Another day wasted without getting any good fudged up stories to rant about. But then, right as we were about to close, this girl came in and was like, um, excuse me? Do you know where I can find the, like, biographies? Now, I had only been working at the library for a week. My job was just to sit at the front desk and check out books. So I was just like, sorry, ask somebody else. But apparently I was dealing with, like, the Grand Inquisitor of Lorbrary patrons. Because that wasn't enough for her. She began ranting like a maniac, going, I don't see anybody else here. Is there a way for me to look it up myself? Why are you putting on your headphones? Really just going off on me while I tried my best to listen to my favorite crypto news podcast. Finally, she just lost it and said, Excuse me, at the approximate volume of a nuclear detonation. At which point my crazy boss came out and was foaming at the mouth going, Can I help you? And then the lunatic girl was like, I'm trying to find biographies, and this guy can't help me. And I was just like, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. And nobody laughed, which just shows you how stupid they are, because I have actual proof that saying that this is a Wendy's is funny, because I posted it on Twitter over 500 times, and it always gets at least one like. So anyway, after my boss helped the girl, she told me that I'm not allowed to listen to music during work. And I explained to her that it wasn't music, it was a podcast with the latest crypto news, and she basically just stared at me. And that wasn't even the worst thing she ever did. One time she actually reprimanded me for using the trash can next to my desk as a toilet. And that wasn't even the worst boss I ever had. One time when I worked at McDonald's, Ronald McDonald came into our franchise and made fun of me for having a big oval head and no nose. Anyway, here's my funny novelty song. It's called Life is Great Sarcasm. My life is great. I'm being sarcastic. I love my job. I actually hate it. Everything's wonderful. Sarcasm again. People are annoying. I'm being ironic. My life is great. This time I'm not being sarcastic. When I said I wasn't being sarcastic, I was being sarcastic. Why your face look like a d egg? I should put this mother in one of my McMuffins. I am, I am McDoc McDonald. Um, excuse me? Hey, baby, give me your McBurger or something, sorry.